Anna Kruger here with the MAPS ISA Coaching Program. And today, we are going to talk about what to do when people say, you know, can you just call me after Christmas? I want to wait until spring. That's pretty common right now, right? So first of all, I do want to mention we are covering this topic quite in depth, like in depthly, in depth, we're going in depth. <laughs> and I used to be an English teacher, y'all, teach in vocab. There we go. All right, so we're going really deep <laughs> into this topic in the month of November with our ISA coaching program. So we're gonna do our best to help you in this two to three minute video. Yet if you realize I want more personal training, I wanna take this a bit further, check out the ISA coaching program. You can reply to this email or click on the link in this email. We'll be happy to help you. Okay, so what do we do with the people that wanna wait until spring? So the first thing we wanna do is ask them, or excuse me, we actually want to thank them for bringing up the objection. So that would sound something like, I am really glad you told me, or thanks for bringing that up. The purpose of that is we wanna create an environment where I welcome your objections. I think we can all agree, we want the objections, right? Because if we don't know what the objection is, we can't work to solve it. So that actually can lead to no-shows, people canceling at the last minute, maybe never picking up the phone again. So we actually want to draw out every objection they have. Part of that is creating an environment that says, I'm okay with your objections. So when they say, oh, you know, can you just call me back till spring? You're gonna say, okay, well, I'm really glad you brought that up. The next thing you're gonna do is ask a question to find out more. So that's step number two. Step number one, welcome it. Step number two, ask questions to find out more. So that might sound something like, so what is it that makes you want to wait until spring? Or what will be different in the spring? What's the benefit to you of waiting until the spring? That's gonna pull out the real actual objection. If we were all in one room and I asked all of you, so why do you think people wanna wait until spring? Some of us might say, well, maybe they have kids in school. They don't wanna pull them out of class. They're gonna to wait to move. Could be interest rates, bigger down payment. I don't wanna deal with showings over the holidays. Could be lots of things, right? So we all have different assumptions and we don't wanna make an assumption. We wanna ask, tell me what is important to you about waiting until spring? And then that's gonna tell us what we actually need to solve in order to help this person move forward. So step number one, welcome the objection through thanking them for telling you. Number two, ask a question to find out more. The third thing you're gonna do is say it back to them in your own words. So that might sound something like, so what I'm hearing you say is you wanna wait until spring because you don't wanna have showings the week of Christmas. Is that right? Okay, great. The reason for that is it will, first of all, help make sure if you did miss something, it gives them a chance to bring it up, but it also will help them know that you were listening, which helps build rapport. The fourth step, and this is the final step, is you are going to offer a conditional close. And that sounds something like, so if I could show you a way that we can list your house and prevent you from having showings the week of Christmas, would you be open to talking about it? And then we're gonna to wait to see what they say. If they say yes, go ahead and provide the solution. If they say no, then there is likely another objection out there and you're just gonna say, okay, well, what else is holding you back? So to recap that, number one, welcome the objection. Number two, ask a question to find out more. Number three, you're going to re-say it and say it back to them, you know, am I right? And then number four, you're going to offer a conditional close. As far as the conditional close, if I could solve that for you, would you be interested? If they say yes, you're gonna to wanna to be prepared with information to solve that objection. So this may take getting with your team and asking them, is there a way to prevent showings the week of Christmas, right? I know here in our MLS system, we can put blackout dates and say no showings on these dates. So that would actually solve that particular objection. Uh, so you likely will wanna start recording the objections you get and either take them to your coach or talk to your team and find out what educational pieces could I share that would actually overcome these objections. Remember, objections are either a lack of motivation, which we can't really solve that, right? If you called me today, I'm not motivated. No matter what you do, you're not gonna convince me to move unless you give me like a million bucks for my house, right? So they're either just not motivated, or if they are, but waiting, it is likely a lack of education. And that's where we have to be educated ourselves so that we can overcome those objections. All right, guys. Well, we are going a lot deeper, as I mentioned, in the INSA coaching program. So reach out to me if you want to know more about that. Mapscoachanna at gmail.com. And I'll see you in the next video. All right, guys. Have a great day.